In this video, let's see the third type of problem to check whether a function is 1, 1 or not. We have already studied how to find out and check whether a function is injective or not. We also have seen two videos on the same. This is the third video in succession to it. Let's read the problem and study it. For real x, I have the domain as real. The function is given to me as x cube plus 5x plus 1 and I have to check whether this function is 1, 1 or not. Now let's get reminded of our previous knowledge of 1, 1 functions. How to check whether it is 1, 1? We have a method called as the graph method. You draw a graph, you draw a parallel line to the x-axis. But it is very tedious to draw a graph for these type of questions. Wherein it is a very long question, you have to keep on putting the values, you don't get a perfect graph out of it. So discard the first method. Second method was using calculus, that is using monotonicity. If we see this is easy polynomial function, it can be easily derivable. So let's differentiate this function, find out the first derivative, follow the three steps and check whether it is 1, 1 or not. So I am using monotonicity. Using monotonicity. What we do is we just find out the first derivative of this function. The differentiation of x cube is what? The differentiation of x cube is 3x square. The differentiation of 5x is 5. The differentiation of 1 is 0. Now for those people who don't know how to find out the differentiation, we know that in class 11th we studied in physics and mathematics as well. In the video previous to these videos, we also studied how to find the differentiation while I was teaching the theory topic of it. But still for those who are watching this video, I will write the formula again. Let's see how to find out the differentiation of any function. Suppose I have a function as x raised to the power n. So the dy by dx or d by dx of that function x raised to the power n is n multiply by x raised to the power n minus 1. That means the power will come, the power, whatever the power is for this x cube that is 3 will come in the front and then you multiply it by x raised to the power minus 1. Let's see how to do it. Suppose I have x cube I write x cube. Now x raised to the power n that means n is equal to 3. Now 3 comes in the front, 3 comes in the front as per this formula. Multiply by x, multiply by x. Do what? Do n minus 1, do power minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 which is 2. So it is 3x square. Hence it is 3x square. Now about the second term which is 5x. The second term is 5x, d by dx of 5x. 5 into x raised to the power 1 is 5x. Understood? 5 is a constant can be taken out. What we are left with? We are left with the differentiation of only x raised to the power 1. Now x raised to the power 1 means what? That means the n value is 1. You take out 1 in the front. 1 into x raised to the power 0 is nothing but 1. So it becomes only 5 into 1 which is 5. Similarly, you can go about finding the differentiation of 1. For better understanding and better remembrance, you should always remember that the differentiation of any variable that means x or y or z with respect to that same differentiation is always 1. And differentiation of any constant say 1, 2, 3, 4 is always 0. So automatically the constant gets vanished away, you get only this much. This was the first step. First step is what? Finding the derivative. What was the second step? The second step, step 2, was putting the derivative value equal to 0. So you put f dash x equal to 0. What was f dash x? Let me see it here. It is 3x plus 5 equal to 0. So one way is what you just have this f dash x, you put it equal to 0, you find x value and then continue with the third step. What other thing can be done is you can just know what is monotonicity, 
solve it logically without having much of the calculations. So monotonicity as I told you earlier was what? That either a function is only increasing or the function is only decreasing. Not anything mixture of all these or in between. So I don't need to go about doing this. It can be easily done as 3x square plus 5. Observe this again. The domain was what? The domain in the question was for real. So if it is real, any value having done the square of that value, say x square will always give me positive. You know 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1, minus 2 square is 4. Any number square is always positive. Positive multiplied by 3. Positive multiplied by 3 is again positive. So positive result plus 5 is again positive. So in all, this result is always positive. It is never decreasing. It is always increasing. When it is always increasing, that means it is a strictly increasing function. What is it? It is a strictly increasing function. I mean to say that when we found out the derivative, we obtained some value, we obtained some expression and this expression had what? This expression had x square which is a square quantity. This square quantity will always be positive. Positive multiplied by plus 3 is again positive. That result addition with 5 is also positive. So since it is always positive, always increasing, so it is a strictly increasing function. And because of the concept of monotonicity, either it should be increasing or it should be decreasing. If it happens, it is a 1-1 function. So hence, it is a 1-1 function.